Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Animaniacs. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Me and Cody at it again with a new anime. Yeah. So, we got out of the skit animes. We'll come back to those another time, but... Yeah. I felt we needed something that had kind of a consecutive story. Yeah. But also something that was a little lighthearted. Yeah. So... I found this one recently. It's an uh, interview with Monster Girls. <laughs> now, the title is a little misleading. Well, actually, it is it's, what it says on yeah, the tin. It's... We're going to have interviews with Monster Girls. Yeah. But the connotation of a lot of people think Monster Girls and they think, you know, the etchy stuff. Yeah. This is not etchy. No. This is more of a light romance with comedy. Com comedic romance, but really heavily on comedy and light on romance. Oh, yeah. So, do you... So now that we got... Basically, that's the simple plot. Yeah. Is we have a teacher who has a fascination for demi-humans or monster people. Yeah. And just so happens the school has four monster girls in yeah. the, the halls. <laughs> yeah. Three students and one teacher. Yeah. Oh. So our main character is the biology teacher Tetsu uh, Tetsu Takahashi. Okay, I got the last name. Yeah. Yeah, they usually refer to him as just Mr. Takahashi. Yeah. And then the then we get in the first episode we're introduced to the teacher, right? Yeah. Who is Saki, I believe? Saki Sato. And she is a succubus. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yep. So we'll just get through the list of characters. Next. Technically, we meet her at the very start of the series, but... Yeah. Then we get the credits, and then we actually get into this show. Yeah. And then we meet her again. Yeah. And it's the vampire girl... Akari Takanashi. Okay, I got that right too. Yeah. So he has been trying to make notes. Yeah. <laughs> so. And she is a very energetic and mischievous vampire. <laughs> Who, so you, you, half the time you like her and half the time you want to hurl her through yeah, the door. Yeah, you kind of have a love-hate relationship with this one. I don't overly like her and she's not my favorite, obviously. Oh, I can tell why. Yeah. She's like, too much of a troublemaker oh, yeah. and kind of also too kind of full of herself. Yeah. What's the first thing I said to her? <laughs> I hate you. Yep. Gotta find that one character you hate. Yep. And, like, for a hated character, she's not the worst. Like, I yeah. can, she has her moments where I'm like, okay, she's kind of actually a high school girl here, yeah. so it all makes sense. Yeah. Uh, next we have Kyoko Machi. I got Kyoko right at least. Yeah. They more refer to her as Machi. Yeah. But she is a doula hand. And if you don't know what that is, she carries her head around. Yeah. So her head is permanently detached from her body. <laughs> I don't have rage. But she manages. Yeah. It's one of those, you manage, it's not fun. And the last one that we're kind of hinted to but never fully introduced to yet, uh, Yuki Kuasabaki. Okay, so I got the last name. You, you managed to get the last names yeah. pretty well. Uh, yeah, they refer to her as Yuki for this. And she okay. is a snow woman who is very shy and timid. Mm -hmm. Um. With these three episodes, we don't know enough about her backstory or yeah. her reasonings. Oh, yeah. In fact, we'll get into the third episode because it leaves on a nice cliffhanger that's going to annoy yeah. Cody for the week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the first episode is mostly an interview with Hikari the vampire, yeah. and we find out that a lot of the myths are not accurate. Yeah. Such as... Crosses. Yeah, crosses are just uh, dress symbol and they're so outdated. Mm -hmm. 
garlic is actually delicious. I can agree. <laughs> yep. And, oh yeah, a steak will definitely kill a vampire. That'll kill a lot of anyone. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that kills anyone. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's like saying a silver bullet will kill a werewolf. Yeah, a silver bullet will kill me too. Yeah, <laughs> and from what she said, sunlight don't kill her. No, it just weakens her. Yeah, it just uh, drains her body. She doesn't like the heat in the sun. Yeah. Um, which is why she clings to Yuki a lot, because Yuki actually has a cold exterior. Mm -hmm. Literally. Oh, yeah. God, why can't I know somebody like that? Yeah, I know. I, I wish I had that power. This is why you're going to find Yuki is my favorite. Oh, yeah. I don't really have a favorite yet. Yuki and Machi or... are my two favorites of the four demi-humans. Uh... I do have a favorite. Which one? Kind of the teacher. I you like Saki? Like teacher. <laughs> she's a funny... She yeah. is funny, and she... We'll get into her yeah. in a minute, because she's more introduced in the second episode. No, oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, the other thing that you find out is that, um... So, technically, everyone is referred to as a demi-human, the monster people. Yeah. But that's not how the kids are say these days. They're just called demis. Yeah. So it's more cool and more up to date to call people demi. Yeah, less offensive. Yeah. So the other thing we find out about the vampire Hikari is that the government gives out blood packs to vampires once a month. Yeah. And that blood drinking isn't a necessity for vampires. Yeah, it doesn't really help them all that much. No. It's not, like, it's not a necessity, but um, there's a slight desire for it. Oh, yeah. So that's why they get a blood pack once a month. Mm -hmm. And then they can usually just supply, or uh, survive off normal food. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, the traditional biting to suck blood has kind of been phased out. Yeah. Okay, I do kind of have a favorite. I kind of like the uh, Doolahan. Yeah, Machi. Well. Yeah, well, let's get into her. Yeah. So, Machi, obviously, because she's a Doolahan, has to carry her head everywhere. Which. Annoying. I, I would imagine that's super annoying. I would not want to live that life. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, she also is. She's got quite, pardon the pun, head on her shoulders. <laughs> but she seems to have it more together than all the other characters other than the teacher. Oh yeah. Like She's way more mature for her age. And probably has to be. Probably has to be. Like Every problem she's faced with, she tackles it head on with ingenuity. So, I mean... Props to her. Oh, yeah. I'd be so frustrated and angry at all the time. Me too. I'd probably use my head as a weapon. Yeah. That's one hell of a headbutt. <laughs> <laughs> now, I say that and then I was like, I also think of like pro like fun uses for this ability. Oh. Well, well no, I wouldn't use my oh. head as a football. What would you use it for? Imagine the cool scare tactics you could do. <laughs> I'm just going to put my head here, and when you open up the cupboard, I'm just going to yell at you. <laughs> you would be that. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> so the other thing we find out about this is that while the head and body can be so far apart and oh, yeah. still function. Um, I think the example or the incident she gave so she was in Tokyo and her body went to Osaka. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's on hell of a distance. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was visiting my grandparents and we were saying, we took too job. long, <laughs> too long. And my body was on the train and my head was in my grandfather's arms. I just looked at the grandfather like, come back for the head! <laughs> and the... Body, the head can sense anything the body feels. 
as we discovered in the most pervious way possible. Thanks, vampire girl. <laughs> yeah, anything that comes up, you're going to be like, thanks, vampire girl. <laughs> yep. Why would you do this? What possessed you to do this? Now, one of the funniest things, maybe not funny, but cool, is she doesn't need to see to write. That is an impressive talent. I imagine she probably mastered that. <gasps> Oh, unless... Well, then again, can you write without looking? I'm going to say no, because she just gave me a blank stare and says I was crazy. <laughs> but... Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I can look, write something without having to see what I'm writing. Okay. So I imagine it's the same idea, yeah. except for an extreme case, because the head's nowhere near the writing. I, I am wondering, like, we, we also forgot to mention um, where her head would be is flames. Yeah. Um, if you didn't know about a dual hand, there's a spiritual green flame that comes out of her neck. Which apparently is very sensitive and you shouldn't touch it even though it won't hurt you. It's just very uncomfortable for the dual hand and I can yeah. understand why. Yeah. Now, <laughs> I would not want someone poking around my head, neck area when... No. Now, I am wondering if maybe she can see through that a little bit. I don't think she can. Okay. But I think she has just that much awareness of what her body is doing. Oh, yeah. That she can navigate to an extent. Obviously, without the head around, she needs someone else to kind of guide the body around. True. I, and she can feel what the body feels like, and needs. Yeah. We found that out with the... So, in the first episode, actually... Yeah. yeah. They, she goes on a date with Tetsu, the teacher, as a mock date to trial out... What would happen if I actually went on a date with a guy? How would all this work? Yeah. When, really, she just developed a crush for him. Yeah. And... <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, um... Let's address that right now. Yep. It's a cute high school girl crush on the yeah. teacher. The teacher has no interest in... And he's oblivious. It's all hell. Oblivious is all hell. And even if he was, he'd go along with it as, yeah, I'm just humoring you. Yeah. This isn't actually a thing. We're not going to go... This is going to be a romantic relationship. Yeah. But... Now, what I do wonder is, um, when she eats, is it, how does it get to the body? So, I actually seen this anime, and they do actually explain this in a later episode on okay, how that we'll, works. Okay, we'll cover that when we get to it then. Um, it's something like a wormhole. <laughs> is the best I can tell you right okay. now, when people are getting fully into it. Okay. But that is kind of a neat ability, because I, I can be like, Oh, hey, I'm going to get eat this delicious pizza while my body goes out for a jog. <laughs> that way I can work it off. Yeah, but who's going to be feeding you the pizza? I'll just like, make a contraption that like slowly lowers it into my mouth. <laughs> yeah, just, just let me have it. Oh, you can have it. <laughs> But, yeah, when you think about it, like, there's so many benefits and uh, cons to being a dual hand. Yeah. First con is, like, having to carry your head everywhere. Yeah. Which I like that the... Thank God the vampire girl actually said something. She's like... Oh, she was useful for once. Yeah. She has these moments where she's like, oh, wow, that's actually really useful and yeah. intelligent. I'm surprised. Yeah. That came from you. Yeah, suggested a backpack for instead of the usual oh, handbag. Yeah, because you can't carry the handbag and your head at the same time. It is kind of difficult. Yeah. Ah, oh, I dropped my head again. Yeah, and I can't imagine that feels good. Probably not. <laughs> so that's mostly the first episode. I think a little bit into the second episode. Yeah. So the second episode is more about Saki, 
the succubus teacher. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and her whole thing is that, yes, yeah, she's a succubus, but doesn't want to use that ability and is kind of scared of it. Yeah. Which is why she lives there in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. She lives in the middle of nowhere because succubus can invade people's dreams and make them have erotic dreams. Yeah. So living in an apartment complex would be kind of no. bad. Um, Her pheromones can cause arousal in males if she touches them. Yeah. If she wears anything that's attractive can cause a sexual desire in males. Yeah. So she'd be screwed. Yeah. So her day starts at four and ends basically when the last bus for Japan leaves. Which we don't even know when that is. It's late. It's, I think, 11. Ooh. And then she goes home, basically has her night routine, goes to bed, does it again the next day. Where she drinks herself. Yeah. So we notice that she's kind of a drinker. (laughs) And I mean, you're out in the middle of nowhere... Who gives an F? <laughs> the school. Well, as long as she, but she shows up so early and cleans true. up so much. And it's sheer boredom. But. That's true. Three cans of booze. Yeah. That's not much, really. Ah, true. It's probably just beer. Yeah. But I'd yeah. be worried if it was like 12 cans there. And I'd be like, okay, you drink half a pack before... <laughs> <laughs> the day's end, yeah. okay. But yeah, it was a pretty. It was a good episode. I yeah. enjoyed it. And to top that episode off, she does accidentally touch uh, Takahashi, Mister Takahashi. Yeah, and he's, he's, he's perfectly fine as he shows. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which makes her question is like, wait, is he immune to my? pheromones like which makes her want him. yeah it's like now because the lack of desire is there he's more attractive and then meanwhile he's actually like around the corner you're having near heart attack because yeah gotta keep my cool i'm a professional teacher yep and i know she can do that and it'd be really offensive yep So I do like that the show is showing like how much of a struggle it is to be each of these oh yeah uh, monsters or Denny's we'll call them from now on oh yeah that's really nice actually yeah and did anything else happen in the episode not really I think we covered the most part okay. the last episode we watch is more. Mochi and Saki find out that they have a crush on the same person. <laughs> and kind of have... She has a back... And, they have a back and forth about why he's so great. Yep. <laughs> I like how, um... Mochi? Yeah. Okay. Was like, I have a crush on the teacher. <laughs> the so <suck>. do I. <laughs> yeah, in the most evil yeah. voice. I was like... Yeah, because this is now rivalry. Yeah. Even though she's like, why am I doing this? I don't have to compete with her. She's the high school's kid and I'm a teacher. I actually have a shot. (laughs) That's true. (laughs) So I can't remember the titles of the books. As they were putting them away. Oh yeah, it's like... First Love. One Thousand Years Alone. (laughs) And (laughs) the... Strain of creation or something, I forget. Yeah, yeah. But well, it was funny. It was always like they were mocking her. Yeah. <laughs> then Snow Girl. Yeah, so we end up with finding about Yuki in that okay. she tends to avoid people, uh, turns down the invitations to hang out. Yeah. And. The episode ends with two girls gossiping about her in the bathroom, about how she's kind of a prissy princess, Mm -hmm. and Yuki hears this and basically is sad and depressed, and that's when the teacher meets her, and that's when the episode ends. Yeah. 
Uh, we find that when she's upset, the air around her freezes. I kind of like that. Yeah. Um, oh, those girls. Yeah, so gossip like girls can go to hell. <laughs> and it's like, hey! I won't spoil anything, but they do get what's common to them. Oh, cool. Hey, you two. Meet window. Yeah. But yeah, I'm loving this anime so far. Yeah. Uh, the only other person that we didn't mention is the uh, twin sister to Hakiri, Himari. Himari. That's the redhead girl. That's. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. I, I think I got the name wrong. Probably. It, she was only mentioned like once or twice in the first episode. Yeah. But yeah, she's the younger twin sister. And she's an actual human. She doesn't yeah. have demi powers. Which shows that uh, demi powers are actually a mutation and not just a genetic. Oh, cool. That's all that's for. I like that. And she's the exact polar opposite of her sister. Not not energetic and more strict. Yeah, she's very strict, very by the books, mm -hmm. and no nonsense. Yep. I do like her reaction when she saw a head with a body with no head. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> Who is this person? It's like, oh, I'm just taking care of her body. Where's her, her head? head? <laughs> what did you do with her head? <laughs> and then you were like, what did I, I do, do with, with her head? head? <laughs> So, I'm glad we're enjoying this. This is a shorter anime, so... Only 12 episodes in an OVA. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, so we'll be doing three episodes um, per an installment here. Mm -hmm. And then I think the OVA at the end. I think the OVA is just as long as another episode. Okay. So. Cool. But... I see the time, so we're out of it. Mm -hmm. So tune in next time. We'll find out what happens to Yuki. And oh. then more stuff. Woo! <laughs> Just desserts for the girls! Yeah. But until then, have a good one, guys. Peace out.